driven back. We're in Cheltenham for the weekend. Let's go see Nana and Grandad, shall we? Mm-hmm. Go on then. Lovely morning. So as I'm back in Cheltenham, um, I'm running somewhere different. I'm going to run out to the Cotswold Way. Now the Cotswold Way is like a hundred mile path that goes from somewhere to somewhere else. Yeah, I'm not very well prepared, prepared for this. Well, I'm, I'm kind of down on the low level stuff now. The Cotswold Way is up high. So I'm going to run out towards Cooper's Hill, get up to the Cotswold Way and then follow it back through Crickley Hill, Leckhampton Hill and then see what my mileage is like and then come down around there somewhere. I don't think the Cotswold Way is terribly well signposted, so this could end in disaster, which is often the way when I run in new places, but I say disaster, I just run for hours. So, Leckhampton Hill's up there, Crickley Hill's up there, let's get the idea, out and around the bowl and back down again. That's the hill, those are the woods I'm going up into. These are the remains of a 2,000 year old Roman villa. No big deal. There you go, I found it. So I just come up from there. Cotswold Way is going across here. And that's I don't know, it goes up again. So it's, it's about, you know, zero degrees, one degree Celsius, everything's still frozen. But it's warmer in the sun, it's colder in the woods. But, hopefully I can follow these signposts to where I, somewhere I recognise. It's just me and the squirrels in the wood this morning and the old grouse. This is a really well signposted path, even I can't lose it. I think I used to come mountain biking around here when I was a kid. Dot on a tree there. Probably a footpath. Can't show the going down here. This is a really great route. How many of you haven't run this before? Just got eaten by a dog, covered in slobber, tried to eat my arms. It was friendly enough, just a dog, you know. It's another sign. It is really well signposted, this route. I'm sure it's much better than it used to be. Now on Crickley Hill, I'm about an hour and three quarters in. Um, beautiful views up here, look at this. Do you see the reservoirs over there? That's where I started, but, well, say started, I started back at mum and dad's house. Ran out to the reservoirs, ran up that hill there, ran through the woods all the way around there, through Crickley, all the way around there, and then back up here. You see the Mulvans over there, you can see the Welsh hills in the distance, long distance away. Right, my next target I think is gonna be, uh, Devil's Chimney, and then home, I think. Hello, <laughs> dog. <laughs> Hello. Don't get normal cattle around here, you get posh cattle. There we go. 
Devil's Chimney. And my dad's house is over there somewhere. <coughs> uh, although this run has gone pretty much to plan, um, I've been running for about two and a half hours, done about 20k. Um, I'm surprised it managed to be running that far. Um, so it's now pretty much downhill all the way back to mum and dad's. Hot shower, cup of coffee. <laughs> In the van, uh, three hours 25k. That last descent was really quad sapping, you know. And I really haven't had enough sugar in the last hour. I think I'm starting to blow a little bit now, which is nice. But that was a really, really good run, really good route, really pretty, beautiful day. Really enjoyed it. It's starting to warm up now. The reason I ran for so long because I was only gonna go out for a couple of hours is because I was enjoying myself, plain and simple. All right, coffee, sugar food. Oh, tired now. Your destination is on the left. So now we're in North Leach, an ancient Cotswoldian town for Kim's Nan's 99th birthday. Oh, that looks very pretty here, but I don't know where we're going. Left this to Kim to plan, and she doesn't know where we're going. Yeah, well, why going to a nursing home somewhere. <laughs> this door comes up to my neck, I think. Found it. So this is what the Cotswolds looks like. Pretty, isn't it? Yeah. It's all classic Cotswold yellow sandstone. <laughs> Yeah. There are some geocaches around here as well, but uh, it's getting a bit dark now. I know, it's dark, but we're at mum and dad's house and somebody's placed a new geocache sometime this year. And it's like 400 metres away. And we're going back to Swansea in a minute, but you know what I mean? It's kind of itching. 400 metres uh, yeah. away. <laughs> I can't, can't not go and have a look for it, right? So let's go and have a quick look at this oh, geocache. It is freezing. It is freezing. I just need a layer on the when we get back from picking Annabelle, it's just to cook. There's already a big string of geocache stuff here, but we've got them all. Yeah. All right, 11 metres, 10 yeah, metres. Smoke coming out the chimney, so pretty. Right outside somebody's farm house, not too suspicious at all. Huh? I got it. Oh, nice, got straight through it, unless that's... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. I did run my pencil. Oh. I thought it was full of milk for a minute. There you go, you can have a... Oopsie, Lizzie. But say, nice job. Nice job. Oh, there you are. You. Well done. You found it. Horse and a ball and a soldier. Those are bits. A black, a badge and a puppet that you There it is. Right, well that was an easy find, we walked straight to that one and back home again, so that scratched the itch, <laughs> managed to find a little geocache. So next we're driving back to Swansea, get the kids to bed, then it's Annabelle's birthday tomorrow, so I guess we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>